So we've got the early submersible, and it has a weight. So remember, we just draw dot diagrams, if you will. His weight down versus his weight up. The tension, we know, on it, when it's just stationary, is, was it, 4,500 newtons. And if it's just stationary, that then meant his weight downward is also 4,500 newtons. You can say they're negative. And so the whole sum has to add up to zero. But the question is, is when you put it in the water, right, there's going to be a drag force, if you think about it. So his force downward is always going to be 4,500 newtons. And, but the tension in the rope is going to change because you're also going to have a drag force uh, in the second case is because is, the water's pushing up on it. We'll call this TD for T drag. And they said that was 1,800 newtons. And how does that impact... The, how does that impact the tension on the core? So if you think about it, as you're dropping the, the submersible in the water, the water is pushing back up on it. So the tension in the rope is going to get less because it's like a buoyancy thing. So if you know that the... the, the well, I mean, what does it have to be? If you know this is this down, basically, what's this additional force? So 4,500 will be equal to 1,800 plus the force going up, and that's how you solve this problem. So I'm not going to give you the answer, but I bet you can figure out, because it has to add up to zero. 1,800 plus what? 4,500.